it's really easy to get super excited about Yamaha's Sidewinder lineup of sleds. A three-cylinder, four-stroke turbo pushing 200 horsepower, that's enough to make pretty much anybody tingle all over. Sadly, it's the Viper that often gets overlooked in the shadow of the Sidewinder. And that's a shame because the truth is, for the vast majority of snowmobilers in North America, the Viper is all the sled they'll ever need, and then some. For 2018, Yamaha has taken the Viper to a whole nother level of smooth and comfortable with the LTX SE 50th anniversary package. I have to say, in the world of four-stroke engines, not just in sleds, but in any form of powered recreation, Yamaha's three-cylinder Genesis 1049cc power plant is among the best you're ever gonna find. It's just so darn smooth and snappy with gobs of low-end torque, almost no vibrations, and an exhaust note I can only describe as heavenly. This is what four-stroke power is supposed to be. Whenever we talk about engines and power, the question of fuel economy will inevitably come up. And if there's anything about the Genesis 1049 engine that's not nearing four-stroke perfection, it's that this engine isn't noticeably better on fuel than a comparably powered direct-injected two-stroke. That's the worst thing I can say about this engine, and it's really not a big deal. The Viper is built on Yamaha's SRV chassis and is suspended on their SR137 rear skid and widely spaced double A-arm SRV front end. For a number of years riding this chassis and suspension setup, I've come to this conclusion. This setup is extremely shock sensitive. What I mean by this is simply that a low quality shock produces a less than impressive ride and a high quality shock will produce an excellent ride. I realize this doesn't sound like rocket science, but it is important to understand when you're out shopping for a Yamaha Viper. We've tested Vipers with non-adjustable shock packages in the past and have been, let's just say, underwhelmed by their ride quality. This LTX SE is a whole different story. A full set of Kashima coated Fox Zero QS3s with rebound adjustment comes standard from the factory. In our opinion, this is the best shock package you can get in this industry right now. On full soft, the Viper's ride is plush and smooth, nearly erasing all forms of trail imperfections from small chatter to medium-sized whoops. If the bumps get bigger, a quick flip of the QS3 adjustment levers will provide increased big bump control and bottoming resistance. I think the third setting is sort of reserved for guys who really want to attack bumpy trails. I rarely use it, but it is nice to know that it's there when you want it and that it's so easily accessible. This stellar shock package combined with the LTX's 137-inch skid frame makes this one of, if not the best riding Yamaha we've ever swung a leg over. Ergonomically, everyone here at Snowtrax finds the Viper to be more than comfortable enough, yet not without its quirks. A slightly taller seat would be nice, and if you ride with your bars more forward, you will find your knees contacting the key panels more than you like. Other features that come standard on the SE model are the sweet 50th anniversary graphics, the rear tunnel deflectors, and a heated seat. A rear storage bag is something that's standard on all Vipers, and the low windshield, while very cool looking, is something you're gonna wanna replace, just like we did, before you even pick the sled up. Every sled has its quirks and areas that are in need of improvement. For the SR Viper, one of those areas is Yamaha's tuner ski. The factory carbide runner setup simply doesn't work, so we went on a mission to find a combo of Yamaha tuner carbides that would. For the SR Viper, we found a combination of four inch carbides on the inside and six inch carbides on the outside gave us the best possible handling characteristics we think you're gonna get from this sled in stock form. With that said, we still weren't able to achieve the level of precision we were looking for. So we threw on a set of CNA Pro's new Trail Performance XPT skis, these not only look super cool, but are a vast improvement over the stock tuners. The XPT is a tapered ski design with tipped up tails measuring 44 inches long and 6.25 inches wide. The three quarter inch deep mid-center keel is made it up with a six inch shaper bar from Studboy. With this ski setup, turn in is precise, cornering is predictable and confidence inspiring, and push is almost non-existent. Basically, these skis make the Viper handle as good as we've always known it should. And we think they're a small investment for the amount of benefit gained. At the end of the day, the Viper LTX SE 50th anniversary is not a budget sled, but we think the higher price tag is much more justified by that stellar set of shocks and additional goodies in the LE package. And in reality, if you're spending this kind of coin on a new sled, that little bit extra for a great quality ski upgrade is gonna be well worth it. 
If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more content from Snowtracks TV, click the like button and subscribe to the Snowtracks TV YouTube channel.